Alright, a bit of a weird video, but today I am proving that Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game is actually pay to lose. So I just had to play a ton of games and record a bunch of different videos and go frame by frame. <laughs> this is stupid. This video is going to seem hyper competitive. It's not. I'm, I was just wondering and I was curious and I want to share my findings with you guys. Because I was like, what executions should I even equip? I really don't care how the kill looks. I just want it to be over as quick as possible. Not in a competitive way, not like I want frame advantage or all this stuff. I just wanted, I just didn't want to see the executions constantly over and over again. So I was like, what execution is the shortest in the game and which one's the longest? So today I am breaking it down for you guys. And some of the executions I will say are a bit weird. Like it looks like you can control your character before you actually can. So breaking it down frame by frame from when you can actually take control of your character again uh, does look a bit weird on some of them because the character is kind of just like standing there and you'd think you can control your character at that point, but you can't. So this is accurate frame by frames. Also, I didn't buy the DLC ones, but they are in this video. I found them on YouTube by a person named Ben Gunn. Their channel is gonna be displayed on the screen whenever those clips are up. So shout out to them. Here we go. I'm gonna show them all from shortest to longest, and then we're gonna break down which one's best on each character. All right, so yeah, pretty interesting findings. Sissy is actually the person that has the longest executions in the game. And that's probably where I got the fatigue from because I played a lot of Sissy. And her animations would just play out and play out. So yeah, she's on average got the absolute longest ones in the game. And it seems like the person with all the average shortest ones is Hitchhiker, but the shortest one in general is on Leatherface, of course. That being the saw one straight through the stomach. And it's interesting that some of the DLC ones are actually some of the longest as well. They're not really all in the middle. So if you buy the DLC and you're going to use those, um, you are getting a couple extra—it doesn't even matter—a couple extra seconds of uh, animations there. So 
that could give the um, victims extra opportunities to escape, could give them extra opportunities to get behind you and get a backstab on you. So yeah, I feel like every second in this game counts, especially when matches can end in 90 seconds. Connie can break locks in one second. Even starting up a chainsaw before a victim can get behind you to backstab you uh, takes a couple seconds. Like everything is so down to the wire and so stressful as a family member in this game when it should be more stressful for the victim. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed.